Hey, come on in. You know why? It's Sarah's birthday week. We're starting it off with Gentleman's Knot. It's a beautiful morning with the barber shop duet. Hi, I'm Marcus Klinger with Klinger Vocal Studio. And I'm Sarah Vincent with Sarah Vincent Virtual Pilates. But on Wednesdays and Saturdays. We are the Barbershop Duets. Hey, welcome. Come on in. Help us celebrate Sarah's birthday week. So my parents came over for dinner and they brought us some goodies. So yeah, there's out a little, of the attic. Yes, there's a little matching set. This is, says the Barbershop Old Fashioned Luxury yeah. Brand. Where did this come from? Does we're, anyone we're, know? We're so curious. Uh, there's a little matching lather mug that goes with it. Yeah. You can tell that they clearly must have hung the brush, yeah, and, the a brush and, the, and the razor. Yeah, he said a brush but, you know, this is the little sterling brush, and it wouldn't fit yeah, there for love or money. So. Unless they must have made them that differently. That must have been a little, I, yeah, a little I don't know. brush. I'm not sure. So if anyone knows, we yeah, would be curious. curious. Uh, but it's kind of fun because now it can be part of the set. Because we have some vintage shave gear experts out there. Yes, I'm sure they can help us out. And for Sarah's birthday week, we kind of hunted around for a super amazing soap to do for her birthday. And I think you'll see why this one jumped out at us. Let's <laughs> meet the soap. <laughs> So, as you'll see, it's actually called Vincent, which is my last name. So, clearly, we had to pick we it. We had to take this one, right? Yeah. But according to the website, it is actually for Vincent Van Gogh. Yeah. Each one of their soaps is a first name, and it's patterned after somebody famous. So, like the Ernest soap we got. I had to look this up. Was right. Ernest Hemingway. But we didn't know. We just saw Vincent and clearly had to click order. So, yeah, <laughs> that's so what got us this here. This was inspired by Vincent Van Gogh. Do you want to read the little paragraph? Yes. Yeah, so, Vincent Van Gogh was perhaps the most famous artist the world has has known. His life and works exemplified the contrast of beauty and tragedy. Mm. To illustrate this further, his most beloved work, The Starry Night, from which we derived the number 11, oh, number, of stars, number of stars, okay, uh, was created just a month after having himself committed. Mm. The inspiration for this complex fragrance was taken from the prolific period of Arles to Saint Remy. Wow, that is a, a deep and complex description. You yes. don't often run into bouts of having to have yourself committed during a shaving soap description. Right. But uh, we had ugh. no idea when we picked it. So we're going on the journey here. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you know, gentleman's not sort of has a reputation of being deep and complex and this is at the very least deep and complex starting so now. Night and, we just have to, you wow. know, try it. Unbox it. <laughs> okay, All right, so we have dug into this box just to get out our previous Gentleman's Nod so, review. And it's a little pre-opened, but... Uh, but we did not unwrap the soap, we promise. We don't smell them except no, here no, live no. on camera. You can even see it is still it wrapped is still in the wrapped tissue in it protection. came in. All right, here we go. So... All righty. Here we go. Oh, it's I love that color. It's very, very classic. Yeah, Mr. Like Vincent Van Gogh. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Spicy, Vincent. green, and earthy. I'm jealous your name gets to be on a shave soap, but there's not a Marcus one. Um, But I did see something white in here, so I was wondering. <sighs> Is we it? We missed it the first Could time. Could it be? Open it Maybe. up. Maybe. Let us see. Oh, 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 there's Ladies things. and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I hey, think. Hey. I, we have a note and we have stickers. Wow. It, thank you, Chris. And a little thank you card. It's the trifecta. Look at My this. Goodness. This is fabulous. Okay. Two Marcus. So excited for you two to try these. Enjoy and shave, shave well, well from Chris. We will Thank now. You, Chris. <laughs> we will now. 100%. Oh, okay. we we'll save the rest for another day. We'll have to post a picture of our shave locker because it's uh, getting pretty crazy with all the stickers and we love yeah, it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a good full, but... Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. We've met. We've unboxed. I think it's time to have a first impression. Okay. So this baby is sealed for your protection. <laughs> See, we didn't cheat. We didn't open it. We didn't it. cheat. It has not been opened. Wow. <sighs> okay. It is number 11. I feel like that's a good lucky number, though. Yeah. So is it for the 11 stars? The 11 stars. I've, I've seen, I don't think I've seen Starry Night, but um, I've been to Chicago and oh, I right. saw Van Gogh's self-portrait. So there you really go. really cool. So see if that world that artistic opens vibe up and comes funny. out let's see let's see if you see visions Ooh, of starry look nights at look at that poor oh it's beautiful y'all oh wow this is different than we've had stuff before is it okay now secret time big secret time <laughs> the only thing i'm scared about in this show 
<laughs> the only? The only. The only. Yeah. So far. The only thing I'm scared of is grapefruit. Clearly, you must have not had a good experience with grapefruit uh, when you were younger. Or something. At my grandfather's ranch, right outside, there was oh. a giant grapefruit tree who hated us because well, there it, you go, people. <laughs> you think grapefruit's bitter? <laughs> you haven't had the fruits of this bitch. I see. Bitter and salty grapefruits every morning. Really? So you're supposed to put sugar on top. I high. know, but it's made me have this like Pavlovian response to grapefruit. So I can tell. what do you think? Am I gonna This uh, is actually the perfect is, introduction. Is it? I, I kinda have to search for is it okay. more than I thought. So okay. I think this is good. All right. Because I I'm, I'm like like patchouli. I got over that super quick. It's, it's, I went you, to college in San Francisco, so patchouli. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um I think you'll get more of a citrus vibe than you would directly of grapefruit. Okay. So see if I'm right. But uh, that was my first little whiff. Yeah. So uh yeah, we go. see what Vincent says to you. It's just it almost looks like a lemon meringue. Oh, holy crap. Does that make sense what I said? Oh, it's just a perfect balance. I don't get hit with grapefruit no. at all. I mean, I it's mean, there. I know yeah, what to look yeah, for, yeah. but it's not. It's oh, a great one for you to try. It. You <laughs> fixed grapefruit for Go, me, Chris. Chris. You fixed it. Look what you did. Oh, I love this. Yeah, much as we said the other day, like they these artisans fixed but, grass. But they there's a lot patchouli. of layers they to this. It's not all of these amazing scents. I, you know, we never know when we make the lather. It may brighten up a little bit, but I feel like that's the perfect one for you to try and be new friends again with grapefruit. Oh, uh, we are friends. We might be <laughs> dating. Look at this. Oh, okay, what, what what do you get? This is going to be different, y'all, because there's nothing jumping out at me that my brain knows. It's so funny. I I feel like I'm at a really, really classy resort. Yeah. Like yes. I've walked by the spa yes. or the male locker room or something, and I I am transported to uh, like a like I literally just stepped yeah, out of the spa. I'm right. refreshed. I've just had a massage. Yes, I indeed. you know like the really fancy lotions they use. Or yeah. like the tea and the cucumber water they give you. Absolutely. Like I just left. Yeah, the the Claremont where they shot Mrs. Doubtfire is Great. nearby here. And when you walk past the spa, you do get this like, <gasps> whoa! I want to go in and there. This does that. It's not the same. But no, this has the same effect. But I, I, and and I don't know if you can get the color <laughs> oh, of this. Oh, oh, oh. On, on on camera, but it's a little like lemony. Yeah. It's it's not just straight white. It has a little bit of a lemon okay, yellow. We must lather this because it's essential there's plus, too much for me to try. I feel to like find it's gonna really brighten up. This I know. Okay, where's okay, our, where's oh, your little here's our ladder Why don't you you never scoop? Why don't you do the scooping? Oh, I hate breaking. I know, she this. hates to ruin the poor. I'd much rather you do it. <laughs> okay. Sometimes, you just if you gotta love go something, you got to let it go. Right, it's but meant you can't to be. not use it, you know? <laughs> we bought it to use it, so. Right. Okay. See, see how our little you, sterling brush you does. Are you this one? I, can, are you sure? Yeah. You okay. see, can you find one right. of the things but we the, we don't share brushes and bowls. We each have our own. But the rest of, of right. our shaving cabinet is. I forget is... this one's so loud. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it is waking up Already. quick. Holy oh, cow. I'm getting hit by it already over here. <sighs> Look at that. It's hit me over here, y'all. Got to get in all the little groovy oh. groovies. And you know, I'm going to close this so we don't confuse them because we have discovered, they said to lather, we have discovered that it's such a wow. different world. I, You know, it's really waking up, but I'm not getting a big hit of the grapefruit part, so I think you're still safe. I don't know if it's just surface area because here it's just the top. Of, there it's like every single bubble it's, has its own it's, surface area. Yeah, Maybe you're just getting tons more. Waking up quick. It changes so much when you mix it with water. Wowie zowie. That is a I hate that she's better at lather quick than me. little lathery do here. Okay. It's an insult to my masculinity. <laughs> How about you trained me well? <laughs> yeah, but I can't do it. <laughs> They don't know. It's okay. It's, not, it's on the wrist, they okay, say. Let's, let's, let's keep our um, happy little piano keyboard oh, safe yes. here. Oh, yes. This is from Sarah's mom. Isn't it cool? The people are lovely. Little. This is how I adjust our white balance. <laughs> My brain just showed me like Poirot getting ready to go on a trip down the Nile. Wow. Like outside his hotel room and there's like Louis Vuitton luggage and oh, just like yes. you can smell there, his toiletries right, being packed into under, the luggage. Right? I, I t- it's a new layer. I, it's not woodsy. It's a little more... But like, I smell the freshly pressed suits. Well, because and... this says spicy, green, and earthy. Oh, yeah. So I kind of... I, I feel like a new tear just woke up with the lather. 
man, this is so great. Do, do oh. we do we read the actual uh, scent profile? Oh, here? if only they had left a few breadcrumbs as to what's supposed to be in this. <laughs> so we have a couple things to read here. I'm going to start at the top here. Okay, uh, our yeah. top notes are almond, oh. bergamot, grapefruit, lime, and orange. So we got the citrus. That's on probably the right, what helped with the grapefruit the to not be like so crazy in your face. Oh, those fit together nicely. Do you smell how the almond and the citrus are, like, paired? This was the double whiff. Uh, my lady patented a seldom seen double whiff. Want to do it again? Crisscross. The re whiff, the double whiff. The drive by whiff. Right. We, got, say, we got a few. They say Sid Caesar and uh, Imogene Coca invented the, <laughs> uh, the joint whiff. But, uh, it's interesting. I really, I didn't know that that was almond at all. I did. I think the bergamot I kind of knew, but I didn't know what I, it was. Right. And, but, and I love how the others, just kind of like how a, a blue would turn a red into purple. Totally. I love how the citrus grabs onto the almond, shakes it, turns it into something different. Totally. It's fantastic. Okay, so next tier. They're all doing this. Next tier. Okay, Indian rosewood. I'm not sure how to smell for the wow, Indian part of it, fancy. but I, I buy it. Not 100%. just normal, but rosewood, Indian rosewood. Rosewood, cypress, lavender, ah. and tonka bean, which is kind of like vanilla, one of the commenters yeah, yeah, yeah. said. So this is like a little vanilla, a little flower, a little woody. Yeah, this oh, one's a little, oh, from the pores, a little more that's citrusy. That's where I, I smell, I think, the Louis Vuitton but luggage and stuff is, yeah. is on that side of it. And then at the bottom. Wait, I did say there was a woodsy smell. Oak that moss, was my... vetiver. You want to take a, a swing at that first or, word? Orcanox. Orcanox. Okay. Orcanox. We need to search that one out. The plural of Orcanox. So as part of the second half of the description, we, we didn't want to get there and ruin things, but um, the fragrance oh, right. opens so, yeah, with the nutty, sweet, and fresh combination of yep. almond and citrus. Got it. That's totally why mm. the grapefruit was gentle for you. The heart of this fragrance transitions into a spicy green, floral dominated yeah. by lavender, cypress, and rosewood. See, and but, there's the, a, a secret time. Uh... Rose is to Sarah as grapefruit know. is to me. Mm -hmm. but, but I didn't get that this florally. This fixes it. This fixes it. Hmm. Okay, keep going. Okay, yeah, there's there's more. Don't worry. There's more. Uh, a deep, rich finish that is earthy, powdery, and green. Those are great words to put yeah, this together. Yeah, 100%. Is created by the combination of oak mox, orconox, and vetiver. We got I know one of those three words. <laughs> we are learning. Uh, okay, though Van Gogh only sold one painting during his lifetime. His works have left an indelible impression on the world of art. So true. Yeah. We hope this fragrance leaves a lasting impression as well. Yeah, Why do this all is... our favorite artists die alone and broke? I don't right? get it. It's always the story. And missing an ear, for Christ's sake. Lordy. Anyway. Wow. Uh, yeah. No, this is, this is very different. I can see why people talk about Gentleman's Nod as like its own little kind of thing. Niche, but yeah. Oh, this has, yeah, Gentleman's Knot has giant fan clubs out there. And now I totally now see we get why. It. This is our second from them, but yeah. this is definitely more like the classic. This is one of the more recommended artisans, too. Yeah. Just, everybody loves them. Wow. And I see why. Oh, I can't wait to shave with this. This is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Want to uh, take this a few like steps deep? Okay, so this is a cologne. Like, because okay. okay. I know yeah, this yeah, is yeah. built of like, nature and stuff but i kind of yeah. want to look at it from a different perspective if this okay. was a i mean vincent clearly a male is yeah. you know so is there somebody in your family who would wear this like who does this bring to mind how many first of all uh, let me tell you something sarah how many first cousins do you have again wait well, for first, it first first cousins it. is not as many it's second cousins is 64. no oh my dad wait hold on no no that's my dad's generation okay let's start again because you have like 124 first cousins <laughs> Uh, their reunions are held on islands. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but we did do the soap from Catalana. Right. So yes. my grandma. From Gentleman's Nod. Yeah, exactly. So my grandma is a, Hordana is that family line. So Vincent, Hordana is linked together. So my grandma was from Spain, but her and her siblings were raised in the Philippines. So a lot of our family 
is in the Philippines. So that's where our reunions were. And, uh, you know, the number is still going up. But I think the last time I checked, I'm like 114 right. of my generation out there. So uh, who's this remind you but of, it's of all of those Vincents? Who it's you got? funny because I think, actually, when we did reunions and everyone would get dressed up to go out, I feel like there's some uncles that yeah. would have worn this. Not my, like, close from the Vincent side, but ones that would have traveled from somewhere else. Because we had family uh, right. that came in from Spain, from Australia, from other places. So it's ne- it's somewhat familiar, but it does have that little, like, I, I don't know, like, distant international vibe. We had to do this for my birthday week, uh, because how could you not? <laughs> this is not a strong, silent-type smell. Ah, uh, yes, this right. This is more of, like... Your favorite uncle who always had the exact right, kind like, of sweets in his I pocket. I really want to and... smell the EDP or the the aftershave that would go with this because I feel like that's exactly who I smell walking by. Yeah, like like the person who would wear this would want you to know something about them. But I also don't picture them in a suit. I almost picture yeah. them in their like a yeah. Hawaiian vacation I I, I saw vibe. A, a suit, but I think it was just like the smart sophistication of yeah, this. Yeah, but, but like someone, that's like someone's identity of a smell. It's yeah. not, you know, they could wear that all the time. That's just them. Oh, 100%. This is it like a person. It doesn't have to be dress up. You know, it's some just... things are like a place. This is a person. I but, just see somebody like with hair slicked back and just Yeah, like but it still dapper. takes me to the like men's side of the spa walking by. There's just yeah. something so fresh yes. and clean and alive. Yeah, we've kind of figured out too in this world that like when you say it's a masculine scent, that really can mean 60 different things. Right, but Not I would like totally... like there's 60 different kinds of guys out there. And this is just like off the chart masculine, but in a really different way. It's a very bright side. Yeah. Not the dark... It's not a black suit. I never saw a black suit. I saw nope. like this color. This yeah. is the perfect... Oh. This color. But I think that's why it took me to my family vacations and reunions because yeah. everyone's having a great time. They've all just been chilling on the beach all day, coming out to dinner. Like, they're excited. They're happy. They're refreshed. Yeah. This this smells like this color. See how cool and like rich yeah, that color but, is. And I totally get like the limey grapefruit side. Like, there, there are Dude. layers to this. I don't know if my brain is shielding me from the grapefruit. <laughs> Maybe. The citrus, you're like, eh, nope. But I, I think I had a really screwed up version of what a grapefruit yeah, was. Yeah, but does this, head. do you like this? This I refreshes that everything citrus? Everything about this. So yeah. even if there is a hidden, you know, layer of that, you're not right. no, no, no. getting and the I, I, no, I've said this before, but we need to have a conversation in the comments about citrus because I think it covers way more than I think it does. Right. And even here, grapefruit, lime, and orange, they are all citrus. Right. So, but that changes, you know? You know, Starry Night is for everybody. The world owns Starry Night. Right. But, uh, if you want to smell Vincent, you should uh, get your you own. You gotta get your own. Head over to gentlemansnod.com where you can find this and a wide range of other products. I had my first shave with Gentleman's Nod Lather, and it was wonderful. I really liked how the Vincent smelled as I was shaving, and um, I really noticed the lather was able to go, like, two layers, which is something new I've been playing with, so that was kind of fun. Um, the scent longevity was about a 2.5, and the scent intensity was about a 3.5. <laughs> Welcome to Messages. So it's an exciting week here at the Barbershop Duet because we broke 100 subscribers yeah. on YouTube. So we had a <laughs> giveaway. And on our last show, we drew a name from this jar, jar of here. all of our subscribers on YouTube who shared their name with us. And the lucky winner was... It was Sloppy Badger. Yeah. And if you missed the drawing, check out our Sterling Barbershop review. It's there and we will be reaching out to him today and to the rest of you to say thank you so much for being here and look for more little giveaways and ways that we're going to find to say thank you. So is this a good way to start your birthday week? Yeah, you know, it's funny. I don't know if I ever would have picked this if it didn't have the name Vincent. Right. But I'm so excited we did. I'm so glad. This it, is, you're right. What you said earlier, I never came back to. This is so different than everything else in our shaving cabinet. Right. I wouldn't have thought, like, whatever episode this is, 15-something, I don't even know. Yep. But comparing all of our soaps, like, there really is still more to discover. Yeah. And it's funny, you know, growing up, there were a couple of characters that I remember kind of smelling like this. And what I love about soaps like this 
is that it makes me remember them. Right. I like want to re-get to know this person. Yeah. It like makes me remember what they were like and hanging out with them. And, and I know this may not be exactly it, but it captures their personality and their whimsy. And like and with the other one the other day where I, I could smell my dad's suit being pressed because right. I recognized the cologne. It just the takes cologne. you there. Yeah. Right. It just starts linking memories together and bringing up beautiful things. So Gentlemen's Nod and Chris and everybody in this community and all of the artisans who work we so hard. We are really hard. grateful for these fun adventures by sent here can't believe it. don't forget your next appointment with the barbershop duo you'll smell better just watching this